Liverpool's recent defeat here against Ipswich was their first in 14 League and Cup matches at Anfield this season. 11 wins and two draws in that period, and they've won eight of the last nine games here on their own home turf. Or home mud, perhaps it should be, at the moment. Liverpool all in red, of course. Arsenal in their change trip of yellow and black. Gilles Grimondi in possession for them, the Frenchman winning a regular berth in midfield these days. Jungberg, the Swedish international, looked as though he was being tugged back there by Marcus Babel. And that's how referee Durkin saw it. Babel, who's played in every single league game for Liverpool this season, is the only outfield player who has. The only other man in the Liverpool lineup who started every Premiership fixture is the goalkeeper, Sander Westerveld, who might be called into action here and pushes it behind for the first corner of the game in the first minute. Good positive start by Arsenal. Dennis Bergkamp came on as a substitute against Tottenham on Monday and played so well that both he and Vieira, who both left the bench to sway the game in Arsenal's favour, have been restored to the starting lineup today. Vieira, who scored a headed goal in that game, trying to get on the end of another corner. Not successful this time, though. Jungberg, Steven Gerrard's tackle. So important to have him back in Arsenal's midfield today. Vieira, who missed the recent 5-0 victory against Newcastle with a hamstring problem. Arsenal's draw at Spurs followed successive league victories against Southampton and Newcastle, both at home. Second in the table, five points behind Manchester United. And obviously a win today closes the gap to just two points, though Manchester United are in action later in the day at home to Ipswich Town, who are having such a fabulous season. So two very significant fixtures in the Premiership today. As Heskey puts the pressure on Oleg Luzhny. Luzhny brought into the side to replace the missing captain, Tony Adams and forced to concede the corner there by the physical presence of Emil Heskey. The Ukrainian is really a right back, of course, but he has played in the centre of defence several times already this season. Sami Hupia, a large presence for Arsenal to be aware of. Well, the downward header by the new man, Bishkan, carried no real power. Igor Bishkan's fourth appearance since his five-and-a-half million pound move from Dinamo Zagreb. Here's Carragher. And back to the captain. Babel, the German international. And Ancho, who plays, of course, for Switzerland. Beautiful control by Thierry Henry, who, by the way, has just been elected the French Footballer of the Year. Then the ball given away by Ancho. That could be a costly mistake with Henri around. That was a really dangerous moment for Liverpool. And it all stemmed from Ancho's sloppy distribution. Well, he chased back furiously, well aware of the fact that his error had let Henri in in the first place. Henri scored one of Arsenal's goals in their 2-0 victory over Liverpool in August. The other one was scored by Lauren, who's out injured at the moment. Heskey took that ball beautifully. Now the through pass to Michael Owen wasn't quite so effective, but he was splendid against Manchester United last week. Heskey in a lonely role as uh, Liverpool conceded so much possession to Manchester United. Heskey, when he did get the ball, held it up well and played a very effective part in Liverpool's win. Their first home or away against Manchester United for five years. But Liverpool going through a golden patch of form at the moment. They've won 12 of their last 17 League and Cup matches. And as well as moving up the Premiership table, they're into the semi-final of the Worthington Cup, the League Cup, that is, where they will play First Division Crystal Palace. Uh, home and away, two-legged semi-final. 
that's a competition that provides a passport into Europe. Liverpool, of course, are still in this season's UEFA Cup competition as well. Two very difficult matches coming up in that uh, trophy against Roma, no less. On show, looking for Heskey. Luzhny across with the clearance. And Owen will keep the pressure going here on Keogh. Oh, he did really well there, the Arsenal defender. That wasn't easy at all with Michael Owen breathing down his neck. Excellent work by Martin Keogh, who made his 350th appearance for Arsenal in the North London derby against Tottenham on Monday. Had to be really strong and was. Heskey keeps the pressure on. And a little nudge on Silvino, who ends up in the home crowd. And you've certainly got to compete physically with Emil Heskey before you even start to win that particular battle. Ten minutes gone, still Liverpool nil, Arsenal nil. Heskey trying to get up there again, Vieira knocks it clear. Oh, what a superb strike by Steven Gerrard to give Liverpool the lead on exactly ten minutes. Wonderful goal. He only had one thought as the ball dropped to him here. Whack! First time into the back Scored of Arsenal's net. Alex Liverpool. Manninger given no hope at all. A sweetly Steven struck shot. Gerrard. Steven Gerrard's fourth goal of the season. And it all came from such a simple route. Beautifully executed volley. This is Carragher. And that's not a bad ball. And Owen is in behind the defender. Well, I know it sounds like a, a long playing record, this, but I've rarely seen Arsenal's defence so hesitant. What happened then? Keown. And Manninga going for the ball, it looked routine. Bergkamp. Vieira. Referee had to dive out the way to stop uh, himself blocking the ball. Silvino on to Jungberg. Well, they haven't really had a proper effort on target yet, Arsenal, that's disappointing with uh, almost half an hour of the game gone. Arsene Wenger and his number two, Pat Rice, won't be happy about their team's performance in this first half. Oleg Luzhny. Silvino winning the throw. Liverpool beat Arsenal 2-0 here last season and won 1-0 at Highbury. They were the only team in the Premiership to do the league double over them. Lee Dixon playing it too long. Here's Henri. Instinctive first-time effort. Crowd jeering the fact that it went over the bar, and he knows it was inaccurate, but uh, nonetheless, when he's around, there's danger. kicks that Westerveld has made. Normally a very good kicker of the ball. And the Liverpool uh, team are given a free kick for that. Foul by Parler on Danny Murphy. Ten minutes of the half remaining. Heskey wins another header. Dixon's clearance, straight to Bishka. Oh, that looked very painful collision. And he wasn't going to duck out. He's a big, strong, brave lad, a good, neat and tidy passer of the ball. And as I said earlier, for a 22-year-old, he's made a fantastic uh, early impact here. Not the kind of impact Patrick Vieira wanted at that moment, though. Ouch, that will have hurt. Well, that looked pretty obvious foul to me, but the referee was perfectly placed 
has made things even worse for Liverpool by stopping play and not awarding Liverpool the penalty they thought that challenge merited. Keown climbing all over Heskey here. And he fell down right on top of the Liverpool man and sometimes they're difficult to judge for referees when strikers are said to back into defenders. That was a debatable one, but uh, perhaps missing his uh, long-time defensive partner, Tony Adams. Good tackle by Gerrard. But Arsenal come out of it with the ball, and they come out of it with a free kick as well now, and a flare-up between Bergkamp and Jamie Carragher. He's upset one or two Liverpool players today, Dennis Bergkamp. And he certainly had a little kick at Carragher. And they were both on the ground. Murphy went in strong. Jungberg. And now Henri again. Brilliant play by Henri. And that's going to be a free kick and quite possibly a yellow card. And he's not at all happy with Babel. There's got to be a card produced here, I would think. Babel walks away, but he's going to get called back, that's for sure. I mean, you've got to say that's a disgraceful tackle. He made no attempt whatsoever to play the ball there, Marcus Babel. You could even argue that's a red card offence, but uh, I'm pretty sure it'll only be yellow. Well, I must say, I don't think Mr Durkin's having the best of days. It was a deliberate, cynical foul on a player who got clear of him, and although he was out on the touchline, there weren't too many other Liverpool defenders around. And Arsenal were denied a goal-scoring opportunity by that. As much as four minutes to be added, and the game's really heating up here. The referee's never really had a firm grip on it, and it's threatening to boil over. Bishkan for Liverpool. Look at the pitch again, defying the player. It's nothing to do with his touch, it was all down to the surface, that. It's a problem Liverpool have really got to get sorted out. It's not helping them at all. There's Thierry Henry. Great run by Henry. Well, he's fired up now after that earlier incident with Babel. That's where Murphy went full length and still made an attempt to win the ball. Hard game physically, this. Another superb header by Heskey. Parler, good ball, Henri. Takes on Ancho. Sets up Jungberg. Grimande, well played, Heskey. Owen keeps chasing, but uh, the defender Luzhny knew the time was on his side then. And the time is definitely not on Arsenal's side at the moment because we've already had three of the four minutes of stoppage time and there's still a goal behind. This could be their final attack of the half. Thierry Henry leaving it to Vieira. Good tackle. But back they come again, Arsenal. Bergkamp. This is Jungberg. Touched on to Dixon. And then a wild, wild effort at the end of a very promising build-up. Bergkamp skying his shot over the bar.
Well, that might just be enough to send Gerard Houllier's team in with a lead at half-time. Vieira. Fouled by Bishkan. Ball was moving there, he can't allow that. In fact, it doesn't matter anyway because that's the whistle for half time. And Steven Gerrard's 11th minute goal gives Liverpool breathing space here in this absolutely critical fixture. Having just beaten Manchester United at Old Trafford, if Liverpool can hold on and take all three points against the, arguably the second best team in the country in Arsenal, what a build up to Christmas that would be for them and their fans. Stay with us for the second half, but at half time in Anfield, it's Liverpool 1, Arsenal. Gilles Grimondi will move back from midfield into defence to accommodate the loss of Luzhny. And indeed, that's exactly what's happened from the kickoff. And a serious loss, you have to say, because remember, Tony Adams isn't playing today. He went down with flu during the week. David Seaman still out injured as well. So they've lost some key figures in their defence, Arsenal. And they're a goal behind. And they almost got caught virtually from the restart as well. Certainly had a lot of possession in the first half, Arsenal, but never really looked that threatening with it. Oh, a lovely little back heeler from Henri to Pires, who was disappointing against Tottenham on Monday, but who picks out Henri again here. And Henri almost found Bergkamp, and Pires is still there, and so is Jungberg, and again. So we've had near misses at both ends in the opening minute. Very exciting start to the second half between these two old rivals. Liverpool looking for a win that would take them up to third place in the table. Arsenal looking for a victory that would place them just two points behind the leaders and reigning champions, Manchester United. Vieira trying to find some room. Silvino with the corner, and it was Heskey who headed it away, almost out of his own goalkeeper's hands. Comes back out to Bergkamp. Oh, what a very good save that was. He must have seen that late through a crowd of players, Sander Westerveld, and that was an excellent piece of goalkeeping to deny ben Dennis Bergkamp what would have been Arsenal's equalising goal. Instant control and a shot with the second touch by Dennis Bergkamp. Very good save by Westerveld. Get out! Carragher. Good ball. Heskey, still Heskey, brilliant, and forced home by Owen, Liverpool double their lead, Michael Owen gets the goal, Emil Heskey deserves the plaudits though. Score Liverpool's second goal. 17 minutes into the Michael second half, Owen. Michael Owen strikes and Liverpool lead Arsenal by two goals to nil, but this was all down to Emil Heskey. And you might have to say it was all down to a mistake as well by the goalkeeper Alex Manninga, who probably should have held on to that. And the last person you want to push the ball out to in a penalty area is Michael Owen, who duly punished the Arsenal keeper to get his 10th goal of the season. Gerard in there battling for possession, so is Parler, so is Heskey, and he came out with the ball. Schmitzer takes over for Liverpool, that's a lovely ball, and onside, it's three! Nick Barmby surely seals Arsenal's fate, and Vladimir Schmitzer was the architect of that goal. Arsenal hesitated, perhaps believing that Barmby was in an offside position. Let's have a look. No, he certainly wasn't, although Owen on this near side of the field may have been, the flag stayed down, and Nick Barmby scores his second Premiership goal of the season, beautifully taken as well, and Liverpool now have a commanding 3-0 lead. 20 minutes to go. Yes, no wonder he's pleased. That should ensure a happy Christmas in the Houllier household, and a happy Christmas all round for Liverpool fans. After Manchester United, now Arsenal, 
This is a very big week in Liverpool's season. It's dangerous to ride off Arsenal, I realise that, but with 20 minutes to go and three goals adrift, surely Arsenal can't come back. Or can they? Well, it's a desperate situation that calls for desperate measures now, so Arsene Wenger may as well take off a player and stick another forward on, and it looks as though Kanu is about to leave the bench and join the action. Bergkamp shot. Vieira. In goes Carrier. Well, that's a foul, surely. Parler. Vladimir Smith has made a big difference in his short time. In fact, he's not going to stick an extra forward on Arsene Wenger, he's going to replace one for another. Kanu takes the place of Dennis Bergkamp. free kick aimed at Heskey who inevitably wins the header and it almost dropped perfectly then for Michael Owen well it's not very often Arsenal are on the wrong end of a 3-0 scoreline it really isn't one of the meanest defences in the country but things haven't gone well for them today and it just shows you how much they miss Tony Adams a frightening thought when you think how old Adams is and how many injuries he suffers from that they might have to do out without him on a long-term basis one day. Well, they will, of course. Whoops, I like that. A little party piece from Vestervelt. Gerard unable to uh, see it, as he was down injured at the time. And the foul count arises to 30. Most of them committed, as you can see, by Arsenal. But not that one. And in fact, he was on target when uh, Liverpool won this corresponding game last season by two goals to nil. They've gone one better than that so far. Good ball for Smitzer. That was always going wide. Big cheers for the appearance of Robbie Fowler. There's been a lot of speculation about his future, and indeed, apparently, Chelsea have made a bid to secure his services, and he's going to replace Michael Owen, scorer of Liverpool's second goal today. Not the warmest of handshakes, perhaps, as the departing Owen passes the oncoming Fowler. in these cosmopolitan days in the Premiership and there are so many foreign players as well that uh, supporters always love to see a sprinkling of homegrown players and Liverpool have got that Robbie Fowler, one of them of course Steven Gerrard who's gone off now but uh, played a vital part in helping to build this 3-0 Liverpool lead and Jamie Carragher and Owen himself of course a Merseyside born player 3-0 the lead, 10 minutes to go Full house at Anfield of just over 44,000, and the majority of them have enjoyed their day and they'll enjoy their Christmas even more now that Liverpool have not exactly swept aside but almost certainly beaten arguably the two best teams in the land in the space of six days. Manchester United last week, Arsenal today, six points but uh, in a way even more meaningful than that because it will make them so confident now that they can still take on and defeat the best in the land and remember Liverpool will be moving 
up to uh, just a couple of points behind Arsenal. Liverpool will be third. Wenger's team still second after this game, but with more matches this afternoon, that could change. Manchester United playing Ipswich later on. And for the record, Liverpool, assuming they get all three points now, will be seven points behind Manchester United. That was a very painful challenge, and Canu feeling the pain. When Emil Heskey hits you, you stay hit. He is a big, strong lad. Heskey was known as Bruno after the uh, British heavyweight boxer. And he was a Leicester City player. And he's certainly got the build of a heavyweight. Tanu limps away, looking very unhappy with himself. And even unhappier with Emil Heskey. Perez tries the long-range shot, but Westerveld isn't in the mood to be caught out today. He's been very secure in the Liverpool goal. Foul by Heskey. Liverpool still hold the English record with 18 league titles, but the last one was ten years ago now, and they've only managed one trophy in the previous eight seasons, that was the League Cup. They were fourth last season, and it looked as though they were going to win a Champions League place, but they only managed two points from their last five games. Here's Smitzer. Fowler trying to get in behind Keogh. Played the ball against Heskey for a goal kick. Strange that Liverpool's uh, method, if you like, has changed around this season. They had the best defence in the Premiership in the previous campaign. They only let in 30 goals in 38, but the number of goals they scored was their lowest for several seasons. And uh, this season, they've been scoring goals as frequently as anyone apart from Manchester United, but also letting them in again. Here's Smitzer. The ball for Fowler. Carragher. Offside. Well, Arsenal never give up, but I'm pretty sure now that even their players realise it's a foregone conclusion. Even though Liverpool have had defensive frailties this season, they're not about to concede three times in six minutes. Schmitzer. One back by Fowler. And space on the right for Barmby. Julia is still demanding the optimum effort from his players. And Arsenal's away form continues to trouble them. It's ironic in a way, I suppose, that Liverpool, having beaten Manchester United last week, have done them a big favour by beating Arsenal here today. Less than seven days later. But mainly, they've done themselves a big favour. And here goes Schmitzer on one of those familiar runs, but uh, in the end, although Liverpool seem to have more attackers than Arsenal defenders, they still give the ball away. Well played, Barmby. Is there another Liverpool goal on the way? Oh, Heskey didn't realise, he looked to see where Barmby was. Barmby had played the ball they hit. Bizarre incident. There's Ray Parler. Brilliant run by Parler. Sammy Hupier stood strong. And Arsene Wenger knows the game's up now.
Good ball from Schmitzer. Fowler. Space is opening up now. Barmby. Still going, Barmby. Saw the gap and went for it. And wins the corner. Excellent play by Nick Barmby. Made the short journey across Liverpool from Everton, of course, in the summer for £6 million. The first player since Dave Hickson. I don't know how many of you remember him back in the 1950s. First to move from Everton to Liverpool. Schmitzer. Given away to him again. Bishkan. They've taken to him, the home fans. He's a real steady Eddie player. Very solid looking. Here he is again. Vieira. This is Emil Heskey. Good play again by Heskey and by Keown. Well, I mean, even Vieira can't be bothered to uh, sprint now. I think everyone realises that we're just playing out of time here. Well, the afternoon started with the strains of you'll never walk alone coming down from the cop, and that's how it's ending. As Parler plays his attempted cross behind. Martin Keown's got another injury. I think Arsenal will be concerned today, not just about the loss of three points and three goals, but about injuries to key defenders. No Adams, although he's got the flu rather than an injury. Uh, Keown's had an injury, and Luzhny had to go off with one. And with so many fixtures coming up in such a short space of time, that could be a problem. What a mass, Robbie Fowler couldn't find Barmby. Pires. Liverpool still battling for every ball in midfield. Canu. A total misunderstanding there. Arsenal just presenting the ball back to Liverpool as we move into the final minute. It's a wonderful position to be in, isn't it? 3-0 up, stroking the ball around, knowing that the points are safe. Well, the good thing, I suppose, about this busy holiday period for football is that you don't have time to brood on a defeat, so Arsenal can get on with the business as early as Boxing Day of gaining points again. Incidentally, Martin Keown has not been able to come back on because of a hamstring injury, so that is uh, a big blow for Arsenal because they don't tend to repair quickly hamstrings. He could be out for a couple of weeks and a lot of fixtures as Robbie Fowler makes it four. The demolition is complete. No Martin Keown to stop Liverpool this time. And as we move into stoppage time, Arsenal's day of misery is just about complete now. They hesitated on the ball in defence, not for the first time today, and Robbie Fowler galloped into the gap, lifted the ball over the despairing Manninger, and Liverpool have gained one of their biggest ever victories against their historical rivals, Arsenal. It's now... Liverpool 4, Arsenal 0. And in fact, that's it, it's all over. The referee has blown the final whistle and Gerard Houllier has had his best week ever in charge of Liverpool Football Club. 
They've followed up the victory against Manchester United at Old Trafford with a 4-0 thumping of Arsenal. The top two teams in the land have fallen to Liverpool in the few days before Christmas, and that'll make it a very, very happy time for the red half of Merseyside. They've gone to within a couple of points of Arsenal in the league table, seven behind the leaders and champions, Manchester United, and they'll be hopeful that the new year can mean something very important to this famous football club. The final score, Liverpool 4, Arsenal 0.